So if what? you would kind of just walk us through a little bit of your background, like some of the brands that you've worked with and, and what is WFM for anybody who's not in that industry? Sure. Uh, let me st start by saying that uh, my entire career is in workforce management or resource planning. A lot of people have a different abbreviation, explanation or a title for this industry or for this domain, but I have a little bit of an untraditional path because I've never been an agent. I've never been uh, going through that traditional kind of a flow from going through an agent to a team lead to then uh, directing or redirecting to workforce management. I started directly in resource planning and I can say that I have probably seen it all and I've done it all. I've been operational in every part of the cycle. I work with BPOs. I work on the retail side. I've been on the vendor side and after many, many, many years of being operational and doing different roles, I decided to branch out and start my own journey as having my own consulting company called uh, Right WFM. So here we are. Well, congratulations on making the leap. It's a very, oh, it seems like a good idea at the time when you do it. And then, then it all starts to get real, especially when the bills start to roll in and, and the clients not so much. And uh, it, it's nerve wracking. Like it takes a lot of guts to start your own business. So congratulations on that. So summarize for anybody who's kind of outside of that audience, because we've got quite a broad audience. WFM is, is the, the operational management of a large number of people within an organization. So you traditionally work with quite large businesses or quite people heavy businesses at least and help them make their people more efficient, make their processes around people more efficient, their time planning, their everything from planning shifts in to making sure that the people are looked after and engaged properly, right? So it's yeah, a let me put it this way. Workforce management, in essence, is the glue that making things stick and making things work. And I often refer to it as the, the framework or the foundation of how do you build your operations and how do you work with your people. And, you know, you mentioned that um, often it is referred to bigger organizations that actually not necessarily the truth. I have worked with a lot of smaller organizations and I can tell you that sometimes it's even more difficult to work with smaller organizations when you have limited resources, limited time to spend on different processes. And uh, it can be quite challenging. It's interesting. No matter the size. I think, I think your idea of, of, uh, of work and job is probably my idea of hell. Um, I, I, I spent 15 years in retail. And a good chunk of that time in stores, running stores and running 15 to 20 people in a store. And I would not go back to employing people for any amount of money at the moment. Like I'm quite happy being not quite a one man band, but a one man band plus associates. And, uh, you know, that's, that, that for me works quite well, but the day in and day out of managing of, of sickness and HR and looking after people, rota management, planning, productivity, training, learn. All of that, I've done my time and uh, I, I certainly couldn't think of anything that I'd wanted. I certainly wouldn't want to do that full time. So hats off. So it's very like people management in general is a very hard industry in itself to get right. And you've got a track record of having done it right many, many times. So you're, do you want to kind of talk us through who your ideal clients are, what, what, what job titles do they hold? Who are you trying to reach when you do your market and then sales? 